spawn. We will commence the assault in one mic. Go! Go! Continuing their assault on the hearts and minds of fans worldwide, DICE have released another look at Battlefield 3's single-player campaign. This time, however, the footage is taken from the Xbox 360 version of the game, marking the first time footage from the console versions of the game has been released. A teaser trailer was also released, which appears to have been taken from the PC version of the game. We're shown a glimpse of U.S. Marine Sergeant Blackburn's role in a nighttime assault on the Iranian capital of Tehran codenamed Operation Guillotine, with the primary objective of seizing key members of the PLR leadership. The opening scene has Sergeant Blackburn running downhill carrying what appears to be an M224 60mm mortar, moving as swift as possible towards a sleeping Tehran, disturbed by rocket artillery and B-1 Lancer supersonic bombers. Arriving at the base of the hill, the Marines set up the mortar and are ordered to fire M83A3 illumination rounds to provide greater visibility for the advancing infantry. Under normal conditions, they would be firing M888 or M720 high explosive rounds onto designated enemy positions. The Marines then abandon the mortar position and scale a graffiti smeared wall. Sergeant Blackburn appears to be equipped with an FN SCAR H, chambered for 7.62 mm NATO cartridges with a Triticon ACOG sight mounted onto it. After a short advance, they are met by heavy fire from a machine gun position across the road before the scene jumps forward into a firefight by the canal. In the previously released teaser trailer, we are shown brief glimpses of several confrontations in the canal and then engaging an enemy position further forward, before ending with Blackburn stabbing a PLR soldier from behind and taking his dog tags in the process. In this shot, we are able to see that the unfortunate enemy was carrying a G3A3 battle rifle with a scope attachment and the gunman to the left appears to be carrying an AK-74M, most likely equipped with a PKA red dot sight. The second trailer extends the sequence, showing the Marines fighting briefly in the canal before making their way up a flight of stairs and flanking an enemy MG position. Black then takes out the gunners with a well-placed fragmentation group. The Marines are then tasked with clearing buildings. Blackburn is now using a Remington 870 MCS pump-action shotgun and almost falls foul of an enemy counter breaching the door, knocking him to the floor. The action shifts into slow motion allowing Blackburn the chance to put his opponent down for good. The team is then asked to detach for another objective, and Blackburn is riding as a passenger in a Humvee, heading for an as-yet undisclosed location. The Marines are wary of an ambush, and upon disembarking from their vehicles, their fears are confirmed, as the lead element is targeted by an RPG, which destroys the nearby vehicles and launches Blackburn backwards through the air, bringing the trailer to a close. DICE's decision to release footage of the console version of Battlefield 3 will hopefully stem some of the concerns that have been heard in recent weeks, namely over the lower player count in multiplayer, and the fidelity and frame rate of Battlefield 3's intense visuals. The Xbox 360 footage looks excellent, and importantly, it appears to be running smoothly, something which will hopefully extend to the overall release. Whilst the visuals on the PC version can obviously push the boundaries further, the Frostbite 2 engine seems to be no slouch on the consoles either. If you're looking to steal some dog tags of your own, DICE has also announced that the Battlefield 3 beta will be open to all gamers on September 29th and two days earlier on September 27th for gamers who have pre-ordered the limited edition of the game. Operation Guillotine looks set to bring the blade crashing down on players when Battlefield 3 finally releases on October 25th in North America and October 28th in the EU.